Welcome again to another edition of Titan Controls University. Today we're featuring the Atlas One CO2 Monitor and Controller. This device uh, is very simple and easy to use. Uh, as you can see here on the package, we're showing you today how to hook it up to our Selene Series CO2 generator. Let's start by talking about how the product functions. The Atlas One has only two setup functions that really need to be done. The first is to hold the decrease button down and to go into the elevation mode. You go to your local airport to get that number or online. By setting the elevation, it makes a more specific algorithm and gives you more precise CO2 control in your room. It then goes through a warm-up period again. And after complete, now that we see the CO2 on light has come on, it's now been set at the proper elevation. The second thing to do is hold down both buttons at the same time. You go into your parts per million setting. This is factory calibrated at 1,000 parts per million. Uh, most people run it 1,100, 1,200 parts per million. And it will go up to 1,900 parts per million if you require that. It then goes through a recalibration and now has effectively been set. The Atlas One is now ready for use. The third function on this that we built in is to hold down the increase button and that then goes into a calibration feature. This device does not need to be calibrated, it's factory calibrated and this is only for use in one to two years. Normally there's a bit of drift and when that drift happens it then needs to be recalibrated. This allows you to calibrate it in the field instead of at the factory. We'll do a reset on this now. Now that the CO2 line is on, this device is now ready for action. I also would like you to note that there's a built-in photo cell here at the top. This photo cell will pick up when your lights are on and work when your lights are on. When your lights are off, the photo cell will defeat the unit and not inject CO2 in the nighttime hour. The display will show at any time what the parts per million are in your enclosure. This is a not only controller but functions as a monitor too so that you can be aware of what the parts per million are in your enclosure at any given time. What we're going to demonstrate now is is how the Atlas One works with the CO2 generator. I've got the CO2 generator hooked up to the gas. This is the power. You simply plug it into the piggyback cord as such. It's now been plugged into the power source. When the Atlas One activates, it will activate the CO2 generator. Let me show you an example. CO2 generator's on. If we force some CO2 into here to take it up past the level, turns off, we've now exceeded the PPM level. And you see how fast that got to 48, 4900. It's now going to get to 5000. When that occurs, it goes to what's called the high phase. That means you've exceeded 5000 parts per million. What will happen now is as the device comes back down under the set point, it will reactivate. The CO2 generator has been deactivated. Now that we dropped under our set point, the CO2 has come on, the generator burns again. Very simple device, very simple to use, easy to hook up. The Atlas One can also be used to control the injection of bottled CO2 with the regulator. We'll demonstrate that in a later video for you. Thank you very much. This is another edition of Titan Controls University. Appreciate you spending your time watching and thanks for buying our gear. Have a great day.